What's up, guys? We're back. We're looking at some more MLB player props today over on Prize Picks. We've had a very good run going, slowed down a bit yesterday. We're going to bounce right back today and cash more player props. We've got a loaded MLB slate today, so let's hop in and get to these winners. But before we do so, don't miss out on joining the Dub Club. You guys can get it right now with the link down in my description for literally only $5. That's it. We've had a very, very nice run going. This is not updated, but we've been absolutely cashing out over in the Dub Club. My Prize Picks profit is also over $5,000, as you can see. So I'm reputable. I'm going to do this for a very, very long time. So if you want all of my plays, Use the link down in my description or in the top of the comment section to get all my plays sent straight to your phone. It includes Discord chat and everything. Just join $5. Link is in my description or in the top of the comment section. Get all my plays sent straight to your phone. And also, if you want to research player props like I do, I use a tool called Outlier, and it has seriously helped my research so much. And if you want it for yourself, there's a seven-day free trial using my promo link down in my description. They also have an app on the app store you can download, research player props right from your phone. I'm going to use this tool in this video, and you guys will see how powerful this tool actually is. So if you want it for yourself, link is down in my description, seven days for free, cancel at any time. And now let's get into these plays. Just play responsibly and at your own risk. Leave a like on the video and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Most important thing, though, is having those post notifications turned on, because when you do that... You get in before some lean signs move and they bump and things like that, and you can just get in the plays early. All right, the first player prop the like for today's slate is going to be in the MLB, of course, in the pitcher strikeouts category. And I'm going to scroll down until we can find Garrett Crochet over five and a half strikeouts today against the Minnesota Twins. You can see what he's done in his last five games. He's only over in one of his last five. But we got to look a little bit more into this one here because this is a very, very weird line. And I think this is really, really good buy low spot here because if you take a look at it, he's over in 73% of games this year. He's over in 16 out of 22. But look at his recent games here. He was coming off of games only throwing four innings, two innings, three innings. It's because he's been limited in those starts. He's still pitching a ton of strikeouts in those games, but he's just really, really limited because they thought he might he might get traded. Of course, though, the trade deadline is now over, so he should be going right back to, you know, hopefully six innings in today's game. Five or six innings is what I'm kind of expecting today for Garrett Crochet. I don't know why he would throw two, three, or even four innings in this game unless he gets absolutely shelled uh, because there's no reason. He should be going right back to those full starts, and he's been great when he is actually pitching those six innings usually. So if you take a look at games on the road as well, it does go down a little bit there, and this will be a tough matchup here against Minnesota. They are a really, really good team at just really not striking out. They rank in the top 10 toughest matchups this season versus left-handed pitching, although Garrett Crochet is just a different monster, man. He ranks in the 100 percentile in K percentage uh, this season. So he has been absolutely crazy when it comes to strikeouts, and I expect that to continue here. He's got a really good strikeout pitches as well. He has a really fast fastball. He's got the cutter and the slider, and he can also get some guys with that changeup as well. But especially that slider, that K pitch that he throws, man, it is really, really nasty, and the Twins should have some trouble with that. I mean, this Twins team, man, they just played Sean Manea, who's a left-handed pitcher. All these guys are left-handed pitching. Uh, they had 11 strikeouts, uh, you know, against Sean Manea, who is not as good as a strikeout pitcher, really at all, uh, compared to Crochet. And he's he's just an okay K pitcher. We also have, like, Blake Snell with eight strikeouts. You have Tariq Skubal with eight strikeouts. Uh, Skubal, he had seven in another game. So I don't see why he can't have six or even seven strikeouts in today's game. Uh, this seems like a really, really low line, and I don't know why it's this low, considering the trade deadline is over, and he should be hopefully pitching a little bit more than those four innings in today's game. Before getting to my next player prop, if you're not already on Sleeper, it's one of the best apps out there right now. First off, you get a first in deposit match up to $100 with promo code DOMG. It's available in most states. You also get a free square when you sign up as well. You can see they, they have Yamamoto as a free square. It won't necessarily be Yamamoto as a free square when you first sign up to Sleeper, but there will be a free square on the board for you when you do join Sleeper. Those have two discounts every single Wednesday and every single Sunday. So some really, really awesome promos on this app. They also have alt lines. So you can get alt lines for pretty much every single category on the board. You can get Aaron Judge all the way down, all the way up to like three bases or five plus bases. You get him down to half hit as well, just for him to have a hit. And they're also already putting up NFL lines as well. And I'm sure we'll have some alt lines for the NFL once we get closer to the season. So if you want to join Sleeper, link to join is down in my description. Promo code DMG will get you a first deposit match up to $100 and also access to a free square and discounts every single Wednesday and every Sunday. All right, now getting into player prep number two, let's head over to the outs category here. And I'm going to scroll down to we find Kyle Gibson over 17 pitching outs today against Chicago Cubs. This one's going to be an early start. It's at 220 today. So do kind of keep that in mind. He's playing the Cubs today. Let's take a look at why I like the over here. So you see here, Kyle Gibson, he's over in 65% of games, but he has really struggled as of late, only going over in one of his last six, which is usually a good sign when you want to take a guy for a bounce back here. But you take a look here at the earned runs here. He is heavily favored today under two and a half earned runs, which is a really, really good sign here, usually for pitching out props. He's like a minus one. 65 on the under. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about here is going to be his walks because he is still favored under two and a half, but you know, if he gets close to that three walk line, it's going to be really tough for him to go over the pitching outs here. So it's really just about him limiting the pitch count, not walking a ton of guys and things like that. But the earned run line looks absolutely great to me. I love that spot. Heavily favored under two and a half earned runs. That's awesome here. That's what you want for an over on a pitching outs prop. 
But getting more into the matchup here, the Chicago Cubs, they rank 23rd in batting average versus right-handed pitching. The last 30 games, they rank 17th. And overall, they just are kind of a mediocre matchup for the most part. He's already played them a couple times this year. He's played them back in, what is that, June? June 14th, he had 21 outs against them. But the most recent game here in July, he only had 12 outs against them. So it was definitely different games there. One game was on the road. One game was at home. He will be on the road yet again in today's game where he has a, had a really, really good track record going 15 outs in at least every single one of those away games. But overall, I think this is a really nice bounce back spot. I think the sports books are also expecting a bounce back today for Kyle Gibson considering his earned runs line. I'd also like him to keep that pitch count on the low just because he's always been a really good pitcher in terms of pitch count and just kind of keeping those quick at-bats going. It's not like he's a, a K pitcher or anything like that, so he's not trying to get those strikeouts. Uh, he's really good at getting like those ground ball outs. So I think it should be a really nice spot here for the over for Kyle Gibson. Cubs offense has not been uh, super great this year, and I don't think they'll be able to put some runs on the board today against Kyle Gibson. I'm not done with the free plays quite yet, but one last reminder to join the Dub Club. You guys can get it right now for literally only $5. Why not just check it out? It's only 5 bucks. Link to join is down in my description. Price is profit over $5,000, as you can see right there. Also, though, don't miss out in joining Outlier. I showed you how good this tool is in this video. If you want it for yourself, there's a 7-day free trial that you can cancel at any time with the link down in my description to join Outlier. It's, they also have an app on the phone. Um, it's a super, super easy research player props. Uh, it's really, really awesome. But also, let's get some free plays today from the Daily Grind crew. This right here is the Prize Picks Optimizer. So this is one of the best bet to value plays on apps like Prize Picks. So right now we're at, we are on the Prize Picks Optimizer. They like Zach Eflin under fancy score. They like Mitch Keller under fancy score. We've clicked the refresh button. It pulls the most up to date value plays up. So you see, there's still some like League of, League of Legends value on the board right now. They have a uh, no run first inning on the board as well that they actually really like. But if you're like on prize picks, you want like a two-pick power play, just click on plus EV plays to filter it down to a two-pick or a five-pick, six bit flex. It's really, really good for finding entries like that. They can help you find and just kind of maximize your value. So if you want it for yourself, use the link down in my description. Uh, just click on that link. Use the fancy bundle. Scroll down. Promo code DMG will get you 25% off. So it's really a really nice discount there. There's also another tool though that they have sold separately. It's called the Asset Generator, and this tool is up over 1,400 units since August 18th. This tool is very, very good. But let's give you a free play here from this tool. Let's go with a uh, Price Picks five pick flex here. Let's just, it's like an all MLB entry, I believe. All MLB. Uh, they like Talion over four strikeouts. They like Bryce Miller under strikeouts, and a bunch of different other MLB value that's on the board right now. Profit margin is 2.02%. It is a little bit correlated right there, as you can see, just based off of uh, Spence and Flaherty. So if you want that tool for yourself, use that link down in my description again, but this time click on the ASF generator and then scroll down and promo code DMG will get you 25% off. Thank you for watching. I'll see you hopefully in tomorrow's video. Best of luck. And if you want to say I made over $5,000 on prize picks, watch this video right here.